Hello, in this video series we'll show you some of the power of the Enterprise Vault Dtrace utility. In this video we'll run through some of the ways in which Dtrace can help you troubleshoot your Enterprise Vault environment. In terms of Enterprise Vault, Dtrace is essentially a way to generate log files of what specific Enterprise Vault processes are doing. These files can contain logging at different levels and for one or more processes. The default logging level is off, i.e. no logging. Then there is brief, medium, and verbose. You can have different processes with different logging levels writing to the same log file. So why run Dtrace? It could be that you're checking performance or throughput, or beginning to troubleshoot a particular problem. Or it might be that you've been instructed to do so by semantic support. When to run Dtrace? Well, as an example, in this video we're going to investigate a problem where Exchange Mailbox archiving is not working correctly for a test user of ours. So we know what our problem is, and we've run the archiving task a few times already, and items are just not being archived for our user. So our issue in this case is repeatable. In this next section of video, I'll show you how to turn on the Advanced Features option in the VAC. This enables Dtrace, and we can then launch it. We'll then create a trace file for a simple example of Mailbox archiving. Once set up, we'll then run the Mailbox archiving task for a test user. And finally, we'll validate that a file was created. So here we are in the Vault Admin console. We need to turn on Advanced Features in order to see Dtrace. We do that by clicking on Tools, Advanced Features, as we see here. Now, if we refresh the servers node in the VAC, we'll see the trace option has appeared. Let's go to that node in the VAC, right click and choose new trace. A short wizard then starts to capture the information about what we want to trace. It's also worth noting that this node in the VAC is not persistent, meaning if you close the VAC and reopen it, you'll have to reselect tools, advanced features to turn it back on again. The first part of the wizard gives us a list of common things that we might want to trace. For our purposes here, we'll choose Mailbox Archiving Issues Brackets Exchange. In the later video, I'll show you how to add to this list. We then give a title and description. We then specify what we want this trace to do in terms of duration, location of file and size to roll over the file. Let's say we want to leave this at the default, run the trace for 5 minutes, roll over at 100 meg, and leave the default log file location as it's specified here. Finally, we'll click on Run Now to start the trace. We can now go to the Tasks node in the VAC and run the Mailbox Archiving task for our test user. We'll let that run for a few minutes, and for the purposes of this example, we'll wait for the 5 minutes of tracing to elapse. We can now go and check the location we defined to see if a file was generated. It should be, if we see here, log file size is 3 megabytes. And there we go, a log file was generated. So in summary then, we might run Dtrace when instructed by support to monitor performance issues or troubleshoot a general issue. Advanced view in the VAC adds a trace node where we can launch Dtrace from. Tracing can be configured there with a number of different options. But remember that doing Dtrace can be an iterative process. I hope this introduction to Dtrace is helpful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.